okay so in this video I'm going to talk about 16 reasons why you suck as a girlfriend you suck as a romantic partner you suck as a spouse you suck as a wife right and this video is not to make you feel bad it's not to talk down to you I'm not saying that I am better than you and I have all these things done it's just to create awareness and to help you to know and see that some of these things you could be doing wrong and if you correct them you could improve your romantic relationship it's not to demonize you as a mother or as a wife or as a romantic partner so I'm going to just list off 16, 16 reasons why you suck as a girlfriend as a wife and then we're going to talk about how we can be better right so the first reason is because you have unhealed trauma from childhood and you are not working on them second reason you bring emotional trauma childhood baggage and hurt from past relationships and you bring it into your current love life third reason you are controlling you are aggressive and angry a lot towards your partner fourth reason why is you emasculate your partner basically you wear the pants in the relationship sixth reason you manipulate and you trick your partner into doing things for you or you try to make them feel guilty or make them feel bad so they can do something for you seventh reason you lie you cheat and or you interfere with other people's relationship and their spouse eighth reason why you suck you act ungrateful and unappreciative towards your partner ninth reason why you suck is because you let yourself go physically and emotionally next you stay in relationships that you are unsatisfied with you stay in relationships that you are taken for granted and devalued and you are used and you are not speaking up next reason why you suck is because you think that you are the best at everything when it comes to your partner next reason you don't show gratitude you are ungrateful you don't express how thankful you are towards your partner next reason you are argumentative and you stress about small stuff with your partner next reason you withhold sex to punish your partner next reason you don't know how to reason or to resolve conflict in a healthy way next reason you are a bad parent you abuse your child because you are unstable mentally and you still have childhood baggage of your own next reason you forced or you guilt tripped or you bribed or you tricked or you manipulated your partner in into being with you into committing to you into marrying you and those are the many reasons why you may suck as a girlfriend or as a wife right now what to do how to be better well we need to heal our trauma heal our childhood trauma and heal the hurts from past relationships get rid of the baggage from the past you need to work on your anger, your aggression, your hostility, and some might be clingy and needy and obsessive. And this is unattractive and it turns your partner off. Next thing you need to do is to stop emasculating your partner. Lecturing him on how to fold the laundry. Lecturing him and always telling him what to do. Maybe you scold him in a way at you scold him telling him you don't agree with his parenting style you disagree with how he um, packs the 
um, waste drainer or uh, he packs the whatever it is at home you are lecturing him and constantly scolding him and telling him what to do and you don't respect his opinions or his input and these little things that you do where, where you emasculate him a chip away at your sexual attraction for each other he loses attraction to you because he loses he loses attraction for you because you are so tough and you are demanding right next thing you need to do is to don't belittle your partner don't make him feel small make him feel unimportant or inferior to you you can actually turn him away from doing good things to you because he will be feeling he can't be feeling resentment towards you if you want something or you need to say something smile and use a polite voice tone of voice to ask for things and appreciate your partner whenever he do something nice for you next thing you need to stop doing is stop nagging your partner constantly harassing him to do something always giving instructions taking control of everything around you around the home if you nag your partner constantly persistently over time your partner's perception of you changes he look at you as a source of stress frustration negativity annoyance or a threat he can stop responding to you and he can slowly drift away from you and that causes might cause him to cheat on you right you are making him feel insecure you are making him feel like he's not competent or he's not worthy when you constantly nag and um, harass him to to do many things it can make him not want to cooperate with you at all and he can feel like he cannot please you and that he cannot do anything right for you nagging too much could cause him to get angry and could cause him to lose control and it could get violent right so you need to stop nagging your partner next thing you need to do is stop being bitter stop being angry and upset and, and unhappy because you can't forget about this bad thing that he did to you you can't forget and forgive about past hurts you constantly blame him for everything that goes wrong in a relationship you're holding on to wounds you're unwilling to forgive and forget wrongdoings that happened in the past stop complaining stop being ungrateful stop focusing on the negative things that are happening to you and in your relationship stop wanting bad for your partner if he hurt you if he made a mistake stop taking revenge i don't understand people taking revenge as a couple you're not opponents you should not be trying to take revenge on your partner you are a team taking revenge on your partner doesn't make sense to me at all you are not you should not be against or in opposition with your partner you are a team so stop taking revenge that is unnecessary and i can't understand that stop manipulating your partner stop lying gaslighting him making him feel like he's wrong or he's crazy outright lying saying that you never said that saying that you didn't do that and you lie stop being passive aggressive being overly sarcastic or you're dodging topics you're dodging this discussion stop using silent treatment all of these things are manipulation being passive ag aggressive guilt tripping your partner shaming him so he could do things for you saying things like well if you love me you would do this if you love me then you would do that well or you could say things like well it's clear that you don't care about me or the kids because you're not doing this or you should have done that all of this is, is manipulation right saying things like 
I would like to talk to you about something, but I know you don't have time anyway, so never mind. Those are passive aggressive statements, those are passive aggressive behavior, gaslighting and being sarcastic and using silent treatment and um, guilt tripping. Stop manipulating your partner. Next thing, stop cheating on your partner. Stop lying again to your partner. This could cause him stress, could cause him to be to have rage, to be angry with you, to get anxiety, to get depressed. It could cause your relationship to end. You, you could break up and it could just be a deal breaker when you cheat on him. And there would always be trust issues. In, even if you try to work on it, there might be some trust issues. There would be loss of trust. And sometimes this trust could not be repaired at all right if you are married you are actually breaking your vow you are going back on the promise that you made when you got married it can also cause him to lose physical intimacy for you and you if you are a cheater and a liar you would feel guilty you would feel you can feel shame about what you have done you might try to repress how guilty you feel and then you get problems where you can't sleep and you can't eat and you lost appetite and you get depression and many things can happen. You also ruin the reputation of the couple and it's really not worth it. You ruin, you ruin your own reputation also. Next thing you need to do is take care of your physical attractiveness, your body weight your hygiene, your hair, your nails, your skin, how you dress. You should continue to take care of this, not because you're in a commitment or in a marriage or in a serious relationship that you just let yourself go and do anything. You still need to exercise and to eat healthy and to take care of everything. Next thing, take care of your emotional attractiveness or build your emotional attractiveness. You, still, you should still be working on um, your personality, your mind. You should listen to him attentively. Be fully attuned to what he is saying when he's communicating to you and show genuine interest and care for him. Building your emotional attractiveness also would include Having eye contact, having empathy, you being vulnerable and being open and honest about your feelings and your thoughts and your perspective and your opinions. It could also be doing him a favor, doing little things to make him, ha to make him happy, being supportive in hard times, in good times, doing his hobbies with him, taking interest in what he likes sometimes. All of that is building an emotional building emotional attractiveness right next thing is to learn how to resolve conflict in a healthy manner and ways you can do that is to create a welcoming environment for open communication both of you and your partner should feel able to come to you at any time to talk about anything and know that you would not get upset and you would not be defensive and that coming to you would not create an argument all the time and also during the disagreement that you might have you need to remain um, respectful and calm in the disagreement you should not be insulting your partner yelling cursing him using obscene language you should not be attacking him verbally and you should not be attacking him physically at all Next thing you could do to resolve conflict in a healthy way is to have sympathy, to be understanding, to see the situation from his perspective instead of just trying to push your point, instead of just trying to be right or to win the argument. You need to listen and see it from his perspective. Right? Next thing you should do is not to try to discuss difficult topics or anything when you are tired or when he is tired or when you or him when both of you might be hungry or tired 
you could be grumpy when you are tired and hungry so it's best to wait for a time when you are both relaxed and you feel comfortable and you have that discussion right so next thing is to recognize if you are abusing your children and refrain from abusing them you should not be abusing your children physically verbally sexually and you should not be neglecting them emotionally i have a video on the seven mistakes parents made you can make you can look at that and get information and insight to what i'm talking about <coughs> next thing and for women who are dating maybe getting in a serious relationship you need to stop being in situationships just to get love just to get attention just to say don't be in a relationship just to say that you're in a relationship stop being in casual dating and friends with benefits if you know that you want a serious relationship right if you are with somebody you love where you know you are being taken for granted or you're being devalued or you are used or you're being unappreciated or neglected you need to speak up and try to resolve that or you need to move away from this toxic um, relationship next thing to correct these mistakes is to never force manipulate guilt trip try to trick or bribe or to get pregnant to get a commitment or a relationship guys must pick you they must choose you so you could avoid being mistreated being taken for granted and being cheated on right next thing is to do not interfere with other people's relationship do not interfere with other people's marriage focus on your relationship and focus on your marriage so those are some tips on how to be better and not to suck as a girlfriend and not to suck as a wife and as a parent i will say again that this video was not to make you feel bad to talk down to you to demonize you it's just to create awareness and to help you to have a better relationship with your partner and your children and to be a better um, romantic partner right so that is all i have for you and i hope this helps and see you in the next video